What if you could find your first or next great land deal in minutes that'll pay you five figures plus? And you have an opportunity to partner with me on those deals. So if this is something you're interested in, you know what you need to do. You need to simply stand by and let's get it. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Tick tock, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 964 5243 you know. Hello, guys. This is Ty, AK, the Flip Man. So you're interested in finding your first or next great land deal in minutes with a five figure plus payday, along with having an opportunity to partner with me. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the path of progress, AKA new developments to find that next great land deal. Now Zomps does a lot more then what I'm about to show you, and if you're interested in a detailed free tutorial on how to use this free tool that makes Zillow more real estate investor slash wholesaler friendly, then you can watch it at zomps.com or right here on my YouTube channel. And speaking of my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I don't ask for much, but if you want to get more content like this, Subscribe to the channel, tap the little bell, then select all so you are alerted when I upload new videos like this one and when we go live on YouTube on Thursdays at around 8.15 p.m. Eastern. Also, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Twitch, Pinterest, at Ask Flipman. Now, enough of that. We'll go ahead and get right into the video on how to find five-figure land deals in minutes. So first we must add Zomps to use it to make Zillow more real estate wholesaler friendly. Now Zillow is like the Google of residential real estate. And so I created Zomps to, again to make it more real estate investor slash wholesaler friendly because Zillow is really just for the common person that's looking to buy or sell a house. So it's really not set up for investors but it has so much data that it can be leveraged to find deals to make money for investors slash wholesalers. Okay, so in order to use it, just a couple of simple things, you must be on a laptop or a desktop. You cannot be on a smartphone or a tablet. Okay, to get Google Chrome, if you don't have that browser already, and you say, well, I don't know how to do that. You should never uh, just let that be the end all, simply go to YouTube and do a search, how to add Google Chrome. Do the search, there's gonna to be tons of videos to show you how to add Google Chrome. Now, if you wanna look for something more recent like this year, you select that, boom, and it's only gonna pull up stuff that's been more recent to show you how based on the device that you're using, okay? So now back over here to Zomps, so we go here and we select uh, get Google Chrome extension, hit add to Chrome, add extension. All right, boom, you should see that pop up. It should be added. Now, if we go over here to Zillow, as you notice over here to the right, this floating menu appeared. So you know you have it if you see this floating menu. Okay, so now let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is choose the market. So it may be where you live already or you're trying to do something virtually. It doesn't matter. That's one of the great things I love about land. It's a lot easier to virtual wholesale land because normally the door is always open and you don't have to have boots on the ground trying to manage sellers and buyers as much, trying to keep them apart whenever you're trying to put a deal together. Okay, so let's choose a city. So I'm going to go with Knoxville, Tennessee. Okay, so once you get there, so it may pop up like this. I'm not sure. It just depends on what filters you already had in Zillow if you've been to the site. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove boundary. Okay, then I'm going to go over here to the filters, and I'm going to change this to sold, and I'm going to change this. I'm going to deselect all and just only select houses. 
And then under more, I'm going to go with year built of the house is 2019. So I'm only going to go back three to four years of the date that you're trying to do this. This is 2023, so we're going on it back four years. Okay, so now these yellow dots uh, indicate that these were properties that are sold uh, that were built in 2019. So here in the, where you see the word Knoxville here, that's the inner city. And it's a little harder to find larger tracts of land uh, that we're looking for because we're trying to find land about five acres minimum, ideally 10 or more, even one acre probably could work. But normally the minimum that we're looking for is only about five acres, but 10 is more ideal. So we're going to look on the outskirts of Knoxville, quote unquote, the suburban areas where we see the path of progress that is, continues to expand. Now, one thing before I go uh, any deeper now, the normal view of Zillow is like this. Okay, but Zomps allows you to do an expanded map and you may prefer this option, but Zomps allows you to do an expanded map so you can just see a lot more. So I can zoom out to the entire country if I just want to. All right, but we're gonna go back in here to where we were. So we're in Knoxville. All right, and so um, now I'm going to start to look for clusters of properties together and then I'm going to look for land around those properties. Okay, so if I'm, I'm looking down here and I really like this, what I'm looking at right here. This is really ideal what you're looking for in a lot of cases. See all of those houses here? So what I'll do is I'm going to change this over to the satellite view. Okay, now it doesn't show that Zillow has caught up with uh, the property boundaries, but it does show the sales. If I click on any of these, it does show the sales. Now it doesn't even have any photos of this property, but if I do home details, it shows this was built in 2020. If I click on another one, it's over 350, home details, sold in 20, I mean built in 2022. And the other one was built in 2020. I said sold in 2020, built in 2020. All right, so this was built in 2022. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in a little more. Now you start to see the actual uh, property boundaries. Okay, but if you notice, if I move around on the map here, at least on my, uh, on my laptop, and I have a pretty strong one, fairly new, and it flickers, all right? So Zillow is gonna be limited on the additional information that you need. So I'm going to uh, identify this address here, not one of these addresses over here because this appears to be an older property. Uh, when was it built? Uh, it was built in 03. So yeah, it's, it's old enough for sure. So I'm going to take this address and what am I going to do with it? Now, before I take that address, there's going to be a couple of ways we can go about this because you're going to need, even though Zomps is free, Zillow is free, Google Chrome is, is, is free as far as the browser. Now, once you identify an area where you want to target potential properties, you have to be able to target land in that area, hopefully as close by as possible. So the, the cheapest way to do it is just to take the zip code and then go over here to a website like uh, Fiverr and find, you know, build list of motivated sellers. If you put in here motivated sellers list or leads is better. All right, they're going to be services that offer that. Okay, and so what you want them to do, you want to give them that zip code or multiple zip codes. Then you're going to give them those zip codes and they're going to be able to offer you um, those leads. Now, you want it to be more targeted because you want land with properties five acres or more. Okay, that's where you want your list to be built. Now, you can see some of the prices from $5, from $10 to $20. So it's not that expensive to get those lists built and sent to you. Now, again, you have less control over because you're not sure what they're using. I guess you can always ask them what tools they're using to build these lists with. Now, that's going to be the least expensive way to build a list. And then you're going to have to get those lists skip traced. And a lot of these will offer skip tracing on top of the list. Also, you just have to see what they charge for that additional information. Now, if you want to be a little bit more manual and be a little bit more direct on the pieces of land that you want to choose, then you're going to use one of the paid tools. Now, one of them, and I am a, uh, an affiliate slash reseller of, 
that you can access through Degulator.com. And if you sign up through us for PropStream, which is one of the tools we're about to use, start the five-day free trial. We uh, train you on how to use it beyond just using it for building lists for land. You should, we'll show you how to find owners, uh, build vacant house lists, cash buyers lists, motivated sellers lists. It goes on and on on what it's capable of doing. But for the purpose of this, we're only going to use it just to identify properties. So we have that one property here. So I'm going to take the full address, go back to Zillow and back to PropStream. And I'm paste the address in here. Okay, so and boom, it pulls it up. Now, PropStream will do. And I'm going to just show you a couple of things here. So the green dot is the property that uh, is across the street. Now, it appears that PropStream still doesn't even show the... Uh, the updated map as far as the, uh, the the development that's going on there, but that's the actual initial property that was purchased, which uh, it appears that it was, how many acres? Um, wow, it pulled in more than that. So it looks like they, uh, unless they bought it all, uh, but the entire property was, uh, it says only a uh, little less than two acres, but that's more than that for sure. I'll pull it up in this other, in this other uh, two in a second. But that's how you identify the different areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom around. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can see the property line. So our subdivision is up here where number 13 is. So you're looking for properties close to it. So here's a property here next door, next door to it. And that appears to be how many acres? Um, it's 15 acres. Uh, even though there's a house there and that's not ideal, uh, I'm assuming the owner lives there also, but that would be something that you would prospect for as a potential opportunity. They may want to sell and, um, depending on what they want to sell for, it could be a great deal. Um, now again, prop stream will do this for you and you're really going to have to revert back to it once you want to get into owner information and being able to contact them. But another tool that I really like to use and um, it's for land, especially when I'm looking at land, it's called MapRite. Now I'm not a reseller it, I'm just showing you a tool that I use, it is a paid tool also, but it's something that we use on a daily basis because it's really set up better for identifying property. So I'll go ahead and create map, select the state that I'm in, which is Tennessee. Then I'll place that address in here, I'll paste it in here. All right, now if I zoom in on it, well, first of all, if you notice, I selected parcels up here, turned it on, and that's the initial property that I was looking for, and here's the subdivision. So here in, in MapRite, it shows where it's been subdivided into the different lots that were being sold, obviously, with houses uh, being constructed, okay? So now, like this property right here, all right, so that was the uh, property next door. It's showing 13 acres here instead of 15. All right, and then across the street, we show one right here. It just shows owner of record. That's five acres. Like I say, we could go with five acres. We show one right here. Uh, that's 19 acres. We show, oh, this is a really good one. Even though there's a house there, but this would be a really good one. We show one right here. And why is it important that I'm trying to stay right around the subdivision? And it's not a deal break, but you're trying to stay pretty close and uh, within a couple of parcels over is because one of the biggest expenses in doing any type of development is that does it have sewer already close by the property that you're targeting? So with this development being built here, we know sewer is very, very close. Now, all of these may already have sewer, but sometimes once you get outside of um, the, the, the general metro area somewhat, Sometimes there's a lot of septic tanks being used and the expense to get sewer connected from whatever municipality or utility company could be very, very expensive. It could be a deal breaker where there's a, a good land development prospect or not. Okay, so if I zoom out, as you can see, this is the subdivision here. <coughs> Here's another property behind it. All right, that's another 40 acres right there behind it. And I can turn off the uh, labels as far as who owns it. So as you see, there's there's um, another one right here. Now that one is 222 acres. All right. So as you see, there's several properties around it that you would target. 
So with all of these, so you would uh, make a list of all of these properties close by and you would reach out to those owners either by phone call, text message, cold call, and in, in some cases you may even go knock on the door. But uh, those are the inv individuals you'll reach out to them and see if they want to sell. Because guess what? Somebody sold this property here where the development was done. Now it's all been subdivided. It's not one property anymore, but someone sold that property. Why, that, why can't that be you? All right, so I just wanted to make sure that you understood how you can leverage starting with Zomps, then with Zillow. Obviously, you need the Google Chrome extension, which is Zomps. And then the, the least amount you would spend is going to Fiverr to uh, just buy a list, get a skip trace, and reaching out to owners. And that's more of a shotgun approach. But if you can leverage uh, PropStream, you don't really have to have MapRite. But if you can use PropStream, because PropStream is going to have the additional information to make it easy to reach, re easier to reach owners, uh, then you're going to really have something. Now, before I before I just and I don't want to get too deep in the weeds, but um, MapRite will do a couple of other things that are very important. Um, you want to look at the contours, which and I just learned this two or three weeks ago. This basically shows how flat a piece of land is. The closer these lines are, the uh, flatter, I mean, the closer these lines are, the steeper the hills are. But you can compare this subdivision and then look at the property that you're targeting. You see they're similar, so you know that'll probably work. Not saying that it has to be flat, it just makes it more valuable if it is flat because the, the more steeper it is, the more it costs to develop the land in most cases. All right, another thing I like to look at I'll turn the contours off. Is whether it's in a flood zone or not. Okay, if I zoom out, you see these uh, uh, different areas here that are colored. That means those are, are flood zones. Now, it's not always a, a deal breaker by no means because sometimes these maps are 50 years old plus and it hadn't flooded in over 50 years. Okay, so it's not always a deal breaker. Another thing is like I like to look at wetlands and those are going to be your creeks, your ponds, if I turn that on, it'll show that. So you see those highlights there. So the property that we're targeting, we really don't have to worry about that. I don't see any wetlands or any uh, flood uh, zone plains there either. So um, hopefully this video makes sense. It'll get you going in the right direction. Remember, if you want to sign up for PropStream, you can just simply go over here to dealulator.com. This is my site. Select the five-day free trial. We'll train you in addition to uh, how to use it uh, the way we use it on a daily basis. If you want to partner on something like that, on if you find some of these deals, please hit me up. I would love to be able to partner with you on some of these opportunities if you find something you think uh, makes sense. Now, we preferably prefer something that's off market that's not for sale on the internet, but uh, this is a great and simple way to find properties could be land development prospects. Thanks, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Tick tock, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205 964 5243 now you know. 205 964 5243 now you know.